Welcome back to Ride JBI. This is JB. This is a quick video update on our JBI WP leaf spring system that we've been developing for these WP cone valve forks and WP exact pro forks. Right now I got them off the bike because one of the fork seals is leaking pretty good now. So we're gonna get that replaced. And while I have these forks apart, I want to verify some measurements I have for the stock spring tube system that is in here. and then continue on the uh, JBI, JBI Titanium Pro Perch version that I am designing for these forks. So while I have them apart, I wanna verify some measurements that I have saved before we start getting some parts manufactured. We have, I think, three to four rides on these forks now since I last updated them in that previous video. And I am actually quite surprised with how well these forks perform. I knew there was some potential there in the setting still, but I didn't know how much there was and how well the forks would respond. But man, with these new settings, I am really, really pleased with uh, all the time and effort we've put into these now. Um, Cause for a while they were working good, but not that like, oh my God, that's, that's really good. But this setting is, it seems to be that. And um, there's a few other things I wanna kind of tweak and try, but uh, we got a few sets going out to some beta testers. So we're gonna get some more feedback for some other riders. When it comes to developing parts, I really like having a good sample size of testers because man, the bigger sample size you get, the better feedback you get and the better the product gets. That's such an important thing instead of relying just on one or two opinions. Uh, in the meantime, I got our JBI spec, KYB SSS forks mounted back up to our R&D 450 SXF. So I'm gonna ride on these for a little bit and also get some other rider feedback on these as well. It's been a little while since I've ridden these, so it's gonna be fun to revisit our KYB settings and uh, see how they feel. I'm gonna bring these, obviously, I'm gonna bring this to the track and then bring out the other set of WP cone valve forks that we have, um, the actual cone valve forks that we have. Um, for this bike so we can do some more back-to-back -back testing on that and share with you guys some rider feedback and experiences. And then we'll start throwing these in the loop as well and testing all three, actually all four back-to-back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. <clears throat> what I mean by that is the KYB forks, These JBI WP leaf spring system forks, we'll compare them to the JBI spec WP cone valve forks, and then also compare that to the JBI exact 6500 Pro forks that we have. So at this point, man, all the settings have gotten really good. Like I'm very pleased with all the effort we put in the last year on the WP, WP platform and um, how evenly performing we've gotten all the different styles of fork to be. Uh, this one was definitely the last piece of the puzzle that took the longest to develop. And surprising to me, I think there's also still a, the most amount of potential left um, in these forks as well. So I'm excited to continue down that path, but we're going to get some more test kits built up for some beta testers, get some more feedback for some additional people. I'll get these forks rebuilt with some new seals, and then um, we'll do some more testing and keep you guys up to date as that all takes place. Um, oh, quickly, I have a rider that has been doing a lot of off-road testing on our JBI WP leaf spring system in his own cone valve forks. He primarily rides what I describe as flowy single track. That's off-road riding where you're mostly going second and third gear speeds. You're riding with good momentum as you ride and it's just really fun style of off-road riding. There's obviously some technical sections on the trail here and there, but the entire ride is not like a hard enduro ride where you're riding much slower paces and having very technical obstacles throughout the trail the entire time. Um, anyway, that rider's reported some very positive feedback. They've been on a beta testing set for about three weeks now, maybe. And um, they are currently trying another spec I wanted to try 
but I think it's too soft based off the feedback he's been giving me. So I think I overshot the mark a little bit on the revised off-road flow single track setting, but uh, I wanted to see how far we could go with those settings before it just got overly soft. And uh, it seems like I found that spot and now I'll just kind of work back from there a little bit. But I've learned it's important to do that. You want to find the limit or the max of how far you can go before you start losing performance or let's say trading it for somewhere else. And at uh, this case, it seems like for the off-road setting, I traded a little too much bottoming resistance for plushness and it's just a little soft. So we know what settings to resort back to. Actually, I'm gonna use those, but minorly tweak them. And then um, soon I'll start offering some beta testing kits for the off-road settings as well. All JBI suspension services and parts can be found at ridejbi.com.